Hey guys, welcome back. As you have probably already figured out by the title of the episode, and possibly the description, um, we are trying a mod today that I saw and I thought it looked really cool. Um, I, I actually saw this mod a while ago, it's called Mistcraft. Um, stop me if you've heard of it. It's... it's it sounds awesome, is, is what it is. <laughs> um, I, I made a new world so we could try it out because I didn't want to do this in my Let's Play world because, you know, the Let's Play world is just vanilla Minecraft. and um, I don't usually do mods, so I really didn't want to put mods in my vanilla Minecraft world. Um, but I feel perfectly fine about making a new world to put it in, so yeah. Um, as you can see, I did change the texture for reeds. I don't know if you guys saw that recently in any of the Let's Play videos, but um, I'm just going to stop on that tangent right now, because there's a lot of stuff I feel like I should cover for this mod, and uh, I want to do it quickly. Oh, there's lava here, which I don't think is of much use. Yeah, it must be like right under there. Um, this mod adds different worlds to Minecraft-ish. Uh, they're called ages in in the mod description, so I will call them ages here. Um, basically, uh, ages you you get to ages through descriptive books, which you can make yourself, and the ages are all different. Uh, they're based on what is in what you write in the descriptive books, which at first is I believe totally random. Um, until you you learn you make a, a writing table and figure out how to um, write ages yourself. Until then, of course, it's just going to be um, totally random. And basically, you get that by writing random symbols in a book and then copying them into a notebook. And then you can copy them back from the notebook into another descriptive book. And you can just keep making these books and going to new ages. Um, and I feel like this is just so awesome because the ability to, to create your own worlds with a bunch of different... Because once you know all of the symbols, you can just t custom tailor your worlds. And uh, that, that seems really, really cool to me, and I really wanted to try it out. And if this seems... If this is as cool as I think it is, then I'm definitely going to keep this up, and there might be a small series on it. Um, when I say small series, I say I I don't know how long that would be. Uh, I, I said small series because I don't know how long it would be. It could be, you know, just a couple episodes until I get bored, or it could be, you know, a, a whole 20-episode thing. And, um, you know, I, I'm not really sure at this point. Uh, I'm sorry if you hear fireworks going off in the background. There's, It's almost 4th of July, and uh, people are a little excited about that. Um, oh, that lava's close. It's scaring me a little bit. I just wanted to get some, some stone here so I could make a furnace and cook up this um, bacon, actually. <laughs> I forgot, that's another thing that's different in the texture pack that you probably haven't seen. Um, so... That'll do it. Um, I'm trying to gather some seeds here so I can make a little wheat farm. Uh, so, the way you make a... Um, a descriptive book is by putting a book and a feather into a crafting thing. And you can make a linking book, which links to the spot you're standing when you craft it, uh, which you can then use to teleport back there, but it only works if you're at a different age. So, if I were standing right here and I made one... I couldn't walk over here and then use it to go back there. I would have to be in a different age in order to actually use it. Um, so that's... I, I like that, because that means... There's really no benefit to making a linking book if you aren't going to go to a different age. So... I, I think that's just a pretty cool... Like, they kept it so that Minecraft is... is still Minecraft, you know? It just... It's hard to exploit. I guess is what I'm trying to say. You can't really just take the system that they put in and exploit it to to gain benefits in the regular Minecraft. You know, you actually have to go and um, do the new stuff to make use of the new stuff. Yeah, I don't know. 
I think you guys know what I mean. If not, then... Oh, well. <laughs> um, let's see. I need some wood, so let's chop down some of these trees. I I wanted to... You know, I, sh I should really just plant some of this, these seeds first. Um, we're going to need some feathers to make a descriptive book. Uh, but we can make a book soon, which is why I'm really glad that I saw those reeds, and that's why I planted them there. Um, oh, and I should come over and grab these ones, and those ones, uh, to maximize how many reeds I can grow. Because <clears throat> they don't grow higher than... Oh, good, chickens! Oh, thank God, I was scared that I wasn't going to find any chickens. Because um, we need feathers to make the, the descriptive books, like I just said. And, um... And... Wow, they make a lot of noise. Obviously, if you don't have chickens, then you can't make you can't make descriptive books because you won't have feathers, and that would really suck. <clears throat> so I'm hoping, at the very least, to get to a new age today. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. You can make little stands for your. Oh no, it's gonna be nighttime, and I'm not gonna have any, um, any bed materials. Um. So what was I saying? Uh. I'm hoping to get to an age today. Uh, that would be really cool. Um, I, I did check the time, but I forgot what it was. So I'm going to record until, well, midnight here. Um, but that'll be in 25 minutes. So I'm just assuming that I've been recording for um, five minutes already, which seems about right. Probably more than that, but oh well. Any coal down there? No, I, I don't want to kill the... I, I want to kill the pigs, but I'm not going to because... Um, they will be important for food, I guess. Or I'm worried that I'll need food and won't have it. That, that came out very stutterly. Stutter... Oh, I don't know what I'm saying today, guys. I, maybe I'm just going crazy. I, I don't know. For now, I'm just going to do this. And start planting some seeds. Okie dokie. And then let's get these back over here. I need. To, I only want to make two books right now, so I'm going to plant the rest of these reeds. Um, so, yeah. Just go ahead and... There we go. Now, uh, I'm, I'm just playing in 1.2.5. I, I don't know if this, work, if this mod works with snapshots or anything. Um, oh, I also changed the paper texture. How does it look? I think it looks good. I like it. Um... So I have two books. Now one is a linking book, which... Oh, it's the default texture. Oh, well. Um, and that will take me to the overworld, which is, you know, the home world. So that is used if you, if you go to another place. That is one of the two ways that you can get back. Um, the two ways are either taking the, the linking book and teleporting back here, or you can find a starfisher which only happens in some worlds, so it's not reliable. Um, if, you're, if you're lucky and you're in a star world, or in a, in a world with a starfisher, then you can just hop down into it. It's basically a hole to the void. It's, it's supposed to be like a, a crack in time and space kind of thing. And um, I just want these chickens to get in that hole real quick. <laughs> no, chicken. In the, yeah, there you go. That works. Thanks. Um, I'll be able to grow some of that... Um, some of that wheat now with this bone meal. I also changed the bone meal texture. Um, so yeah, the starfisher is is the second way that you can get back. There is no other way to get back to this world. So if you go there without a linking book and it doesn't have a starfisher and there are, and it lacks the materials to make a linking book, then you're just out of luck. Um. It, it is possible that the world will have the materials to make a linking book. Um, it's entirely possible. But it's... It's probably more possible. It's more likely that the world will not. So, you gotta be careful. Um, because these worlds can get all kinds of crazy. Like, floating island worlds, and... Um, I believe you can even get, like, hell-themed worlds, kind of like the Nether. Uh, you can get water worlds, which seems really awesome. Um, many of the worlds may only have one biome. Uh, I, I looked at all of the... Okay, remember how I said that the, all the books have different symbols that 
depict what kind of world it is. Uh, there are a certain, like, there are symbols, and I don't actually know the specific symbols, but I did write down um, the general categories of symbols and um, that will show up. Uh, hold on while I finish killing these spiders because I want some string to make it daytime. I need 12 string. Can he get me? I think he can. Oh well, let's kill him anyway. Um, there are uh, there are primary symbols and secondary symbols. The primary symbols take care of the big things, like you know it, that's understandable. That's usually how things are. Um, the primary symbols are biome controllers, biomes, terrain formation, and time. Sorry, I, I wasn't looking at the screen. That's why I was just jumping into a wall. Um, they affect things. The biome controllers affect... Um, I tried not to look at most of the things if I could avoid it. Um, like, to see what kind of symbols there were and stuff. Because I didn't want to... Um, I spawned in that jungle over there, by the way. So, that's why all my wood is, is pink. Um... There you go. Fight each other. Um, so, the biome controllers pick uh, how many and or what type of biome spawn... Oh, oh god. I'm gonna die here. I'm scared. Stay back. Stay back. Yeah. Okay, the biome controllers decide how many biomes there are and or... Um, where, or the the placement. I looked at it, and I remembered seeing, I think there were four of them. One of them said that there was only one biome. One of them said that they were checkerboard. One of them said that they were normal. And, and there was another one that I don't remember. Um, so, those are the four biome controllers. Then there's the biome ones, which actually pick biomes. So, if you pick, um, it... Okay, I, wa I want to point out that there is a, a corruption, uh, or decay thing. Oh my god, that skeleton did so much damage. <laughs> that was scary. That was a scary amount of damage. I'm gonna die here. Okay. Down my hole. <laughs> Time to just go down the hole. <laughs> Wait until daytime. Um... Okay, uh, there is decay. This will give me a chance to talk, so that's good. And possibly find some coal, which I kind of desperately need. Um, there is decay. Decay is bad. Uh, as, it, as it, you know, it sounds bad, and that's because it is. Um, worlds that are not... Some, some symbols just have a chance of causing decay um, and instability. Uh, unstable worlds will eventually collapse into the void. And, uh, like I said, some symbols just inherently cause instability. Like, for the one that they gave for an example was, um, uh, dense minerals, I believe. So, there is a symbol that you can use to find a lot of ores, but the world will become unstable. And it is very difficult, if not impossible, to stop an unstable world from decaying, like, manually. You can, I suppose, like, cheat. Use, like, a world editor or something to change it. I don't really know how that would work. Because um, I don't really know how the worlds work. Like, I don't know if it makes a separate world for every age or what. Um, but, uh... Man, what time is it? I'd like to know. Of course, there's a tree right there. Okay, it's nighttime. That's good. That'll give me a way to see out without having to go out. Let's find this lava, shall we? Um, so, you can avoid instability by picking the correct symbols that, that go together so that it's not unstable. And you can specifically write unstable worlds. But, um... Oh, that's bad. Um... But, of course, going into this, I'm not going to know what would cause an unstable world and what wouldn't. So, I'm most likely not going to be able to tell between them. So, there may be a little bit of panic in a new world where I realize that something is unstable and I'm going to immediately try to use my link book to get out. 
Um, so, yeah, if you see me start panicking, that's why. Um, and, uh, so like I was saying, the, the biome controllers can decide how many biomes there are. Conflicting symbols will cause instability. Um, you can, there are varying degrees of instability, like if something, if it's only slightly unstable, then it's probably causes less, um, decay, which there is a decay block that essentially turns nearby blocks into decay blocks and, um, obeys gravity, and it will turn, oh, sounds like daytime, it will turn blocks that are, um, underneath it or to the, s <clears throat> or to the side of it into decay blocks. So, if it gets down to bedrock, the world will start collapsing. Um, because the bedrock will fall down into the... It'll, the bedrock will turn into decay blocks and then fall down into the void. Um, so, you can... Uh, if I see that happening, I will immediately leave the world, because that would be a very bad thing to stick around for. Because, like I said, if you die in that world, um, or if you lose your link book in that world then you're kind of screwed. Because, unless it has a star fissure, which you'd be incredibly lucky, um, then, you know, there's there's not much chance of you getting out. Um, so, yeah. Oh, is that where I dug out? No. Where did I dig out? I must have dug out somewhere under there. Um, uh, let's see. So, the conflicting things, like, if you picked, uh, if there's a primary glyph that, or, I keep, I, I keep wanting to say glyph, but it's, it's not glyph, it's symbol. Um, if you have a symbol that says that you should have one biome, um, and then you pick two biomes, or you have two biome symbols, then that will cause problems. That's enough to cause some instability. Because you're only supposed to have one biome. As far as I can tell, there's a, it's pretty likely that you'll get an unstable world if it's randomly generated. I don't quote me on that, but that's just what it seems like right now. Um, and uh, that's a little scary. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure something out. Um, you can also make some portals with books. Um, you can find... I don't know if it'll generate in this, in this world or if it'll only generate in other worlds, but there's supposed to be crystal blocks that will generate near water, and, I mean, there's a lot of water around, but I don't see any. Um, it looks like endstone, but it's blue. It should be pretty easy to recognize, because in the um, picture, it was, like, sticking out of the water, like this big bleh. So, um, if you guys see any, and I'm just going crazy and missing it, tell me, because that would be kind of neat to, to make one. Um, the way the portals work is you just make any shape, any closed shape, apparently, and, um, with the crystal blocks, and that will, uh, and then you put a book in one of the blocks, and a linked book, and, oh, apparently a skeleton died down there, and that will, um, I've got wheat, but I've only got one chicken in here. Let's grab another chicken so we can breed them. Um, putting the link book in the portal will activate it. And it'll check to see if it's an actually, you know, functioning portal. Because if it's if it do, if it if it doesn't meet the portal guidelines, then it won't become a portal similar to Nether portals. Um, so it does have to be a closed thing. But I believe you can put it sideways or um, or like an odd shape, and it it should still work. I think. Um, again, I'm not an expert. I did read pretty much the entire wiki on this so that I would know what I'm doing when I get into it, um, because. Without that, I'd be kind of just wandering around, like, what are the crafting recipes and all that stuff. I, I specifically avoided it looking at what any of the symbols were. So, don't worry about that. Um, no, animals! Jeez! Come here, you're slow! Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm hoping we'll get a really cool world off the start. I mean, theoretically, we could get a totally normal world. Um just, like, right off the bat, and that would be kind of boring, but it would be a good introduction, at least, um, because we'd have a world, even if it's not a fantastic one, or an age, I should say, um, even if it's not the best or, or the coolest, um, I'd still be happy with that. Um, I'm trying to get the pigs into one and the, sh and the cows, uh, what are these things? Chickens! They're chickens! Okay. Um... 
and the chickens into the others. Into the other. God, I don't know what I'm saying right now. I believe I'm speaking English, but I could be wrong. Don't jump into that hole, chicken. Pig, just go this way. Just go this way. Wow, this pig is very adamant on going that direction. Um, okay, I'll just... Can I just punch him in? Nope, that just made him run. Okay, chicken. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And into the, into the hole! Dang it, chicken! These chickens are gonna drive me crazy. Okay, let's try to... Okay. Well, oh, we've got two chickens in there. Good. Breed, 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 breed. Good chicken. You can just die. Wow, that dropped two, uh, two feathers. That's fantastic. Okay, piggy, piggy, come here. I'm just going to dig a hole. <laughs> come down in here. Come on, come on in. Come on in. I know you want to. No, pi other pig, you were supposed to stay down there. Nope. Pig, get down in that hole right now. Okay, come here. Come here. I know this is the boring stuff, but it's stuff that has to happen. Um, and I wanted a good chance to talk about all of the stuff that's in this. Oh, look at all these reeds so, so quickly. We're going to have so many. And there's a few chickens running loose. Um, okay, let's go ahead and make that... Um, let's see, can they make a bed yet? can't make a bed yet. Crap. I wonder if there's... Are there any sheep around? It worked with chickens. I just asked for chickens and they appeared. Doesn't look like it, though. Which is really unfortunate. Uh, there's an ocelot. Right there. Um, with the portals, you can actually push mobs through them and bring them into the new age. So, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't suggest doing it until you figured out that, you know, you've got a stable age. Um, because an unstable age would just eat your pigs. Um, and the portals don't create portals in the other age like the nether portals do. You know, you make a nether portal and it just, um, it creates an another portal in the nether kind of thing. Hello. Let's hop right in there. Breed! <laughs> in confined spaces. We've got a few chickens down there. Some eggs. What? What? That was a baby pig that just died. Maybe the hole's not big enough. I did this on a server just like five minutes ago. And it worked just fine. So. Um. Can you. What is with you, man? Chill. Chill. It's like he's hopped up on caffeine or something. He's just all over the place. Um. You know, actually, we can, we can just make a. Let's make a chest first off. And put a bunch of our, like, important stuff in here. Um, all of this crap. All of, oh, we got a bow? Jeez. Okay. Oh, we have a book already. Okay. Let's put those in here. We'll take some blocks with us. Did I replant over here? Or did I just... I didn't replant. That was stupid of me. I don't know if time passes regularly in other worlds or not. Um, I think it does. Like while while I'm here, will it will it pass in other worlds? I I don't know. I I sh can't say with any confidence on that matter. Um. But okay, so the linking book should bring us right back here. This book is a descriptive book. Okay. Okay. I I when I use this, it's gonna teleport me to a new world or theoretically. Um. Let's. It's ready to go. Right, let's go in three, two. One, go! Oh, oh, we're traveling. We're traveling. Oh, crap. That doesn't look good. Um, <laughs> that's, that looks pretty bad, actually. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we've got our linking book. Um, we can, let's teleport back. Oh, it, age 50. Okay, we can just pick that back up. We now that, know that that is age 50. Um, I am going to take these, and we will make something else that's in this mod. is a link book stand. So, I can put this here, and put that down, and put a book on it. Now, I think... I, I'm scared to use that. Hold on. 
I'm going to make a... I can't do that here. I'm going to make a, um... A link book real quick. A linking book. And then right-click on this. Oh, cool. Sweet. That's definitely not what it was. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, okay, some of these... That's probably... An, that probably would have been an unstable one. Because from the looks of it, it's got, um... Medium biomes, which means these should all work fine. Forest hills, forest, and beach. Which means those would be the only biomes we'd find in it. And, um... But it also has a void, which I'm not really sure how those conflict. I think this one... Okay, normal time means normal time. The time can change differently. I didn't really look at what the things were. I think you can have, like, sped up time and, um... And stopped time, as well as... Uh... Probably slowed down time. Uh, I, I'm really not sure. But, um... And, and you can take the book out and put it in your inventory and then put another book in. So, uh, yeah. I wonder, can I... I would like to... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Well, there's two linking books. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I guess that's a picture of the world. And if you click on it, it teleports you there. That's good to know. It scared the crap out of me a little bit. But it's good to know. Um, when you use a book, it does drop it on the ground. So if you go back, you can pick it up. Which means, you know, wherever you use a linking book, it'll, it'll leave it on the ground. Let's make another one real quick. Um, as well as... Oh, let's find some squids. Because I want to make a writing table. There's got to be squids somewhere. I mean, come on, there's water everywhere. And I'm just throwing down torches so that these... So that those stupid skeletons won't murder me again tonight. Hopefully. I ne really need to get some over here. Because um, this is where it was worst. On this side of the island. Um, that was a pretty cool... Uh, I guess, first world. Um, it, was, it was a little... Not quite so good as a world. But it, it was interesting to find as a first world. You know? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe you don't. Um, but, uh, let's, let's see. I've got, I've got this area lit up pretty well. Um, mostly mobs shouldn't spawn here. I mean, there's some places where I expect them to still spawn, like this area's a little dark. But, that should at least greatly decrease the number of spawns we get. Uh, that's not right. There we go. Now, I want to... I'm not sure how this works. Um, like I said, let's try to find some squids. Because I just need one ink sack here to do this. Oh, man, it's almost midnight now. It's been almost a half hour. Probably over a half hour, actually. But I want to see if I can find a squid first. We're by a freaking ocean. you think a couple squids could spawn. You know? There they are. They just spawned right in front of me. And I'm so happy that they did. Come here, buggers. Kill you with a lily pad. Die. Die. I got some. Sweet. There's more. Great. Because this, this works as the ink for the, um, the writing table. Which means we are going to need a feather, too. Um, I guess I'm just going to have to kill... Freaking Endermen, they just keep showing up. There was one last night, there's one tonight. Are they supposed to be, like, rare spawns? Rarer spawns? I don't know. Do I have more coal in that chest? I kind of hope I do, because there's a lot of enemies around, and I would like to light up the area. I do. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. He scared me. Get in there. See ya. Oh, that's a pig. Okay. Pig, not so scary. Me some meat. Ow. If I swing fast enough, I can use that to totally cover up myself so the skeletons can't get to me. Probably is a little cheaty, but oh well. Um, oh, oh, where is he? Oh, he's in the pit. Right, with the pigs. Gotcha. Noob. Um, okay, I think this is made, like, still just him. I'm going to have to kill that guy because he's going to drive me crazy. I think you make it, like, 
that. Maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's like this. Maybe it's like that. Yeah, writing desk. That looks like something I would make for a texture. I don't know how this... Okay. All right. Okay. That's where the notebook goes, I think. I'm scared, guys. <laughs> um, how does this work? You, you use this. I, I'm going to need another feather, fortunately. Um, can you guys breed for me again real quick? Before I kill you? Uh, you look like you could just die. Yeah, that works. Nope, oh, you're staying in there. They, they really try to get out of there. Man. Okay, um... We need to craft the... Descriptive book. And, oh, I didn't look at him. He's got a mushroom. <laughs> He's got a mushroom. Um, okay, right, I need to make a... Um, I need to make a... There's a creeper over there. A notebook, real quick. Which you make, like... This. And then I can put the notebook... Here. Okay. And then I will take this... And put this... Here. Okay. No, we... Oh, creeper's coming. <laughs> God, I'm glad I played with game sounds. Okay. Um, oh god, no, don't blow up my table thingy! <laughs> it's my table thingy, guys! Quit it! Stop being annoying, dude. Okay, I thought he was gonna shoot me a second time, but turned out he wasn't going to. Um, okay, cool. So we have biome types here, biome controllers here, lighting, terrain generation, um, time, and weather. Okay, right, I forgot to get into the, um, the types of secondary things. Where did my... Oh, I've got it. Age 51, age 50. Okay. Nope. Def definitely don't want to use that. Um, I do want to look at age 51, though. Will, will that help me? No. Um, okay, let's take this out. Put age 51 in. Oh, okay, we don't know until we go there. Gotcha. Okay, so we have a linking book. Let's go ahead and use this. God, I'm scared. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um, let's put that... Oh, spider. Hi there. Give me your string. Give me your string. Oh. oh, I didn't look at you. Okay. I don't have armor on, so that guy would have definitely messed me up. Um, actually, I'll take this. Make some torches. Okay. Put those back. Put that back. Um... Let's leave the wheat here. We can take that. I don't have any string. I need more string. Where are all the freaking spiders? There's one. Oh, my sword broke. Well, good timing, I guess. Okay. Up to eight string. Just two more, or four more. And then we can make a, a bed. But anyway, um, so let's use this. Alrighty. And now we are... Sweet. Alright. Now, I have no idea what's here. Does the sun look like it's moving? Because this may be just be an eternal dusk place. The sun is not moving. Sweet. Um. Well, we can grab some wood. Quickly. <laughs> um, so, the sun won't be moving, which means we've got plenty of time to just wander around and do whatever we want. Um, looks like they're... I'm going to assume that this is a single biome place. Um, well, I wonder if one biome includes oceans. I mean, this this isn't an ocean, but um, I suppose it would, wouldn't it? Probably. Um, not really sure. I'd like to see a world that's just one... Um, one biome with just a river biome. Because I believe I did see that it said a river biome was one of the biomes you could get. Excuse me. Um, and I, I don't really know about that. So, mobs should be able to spawn here, actually. Oh, wh what's the light level? Um, light level 
13. Okay, so um, it's dark enough, or it's bright enough that mobs won't spawn. Uh, let's go ahead and use our linking book and go back home. And has time passed? Time might have passed because it's almost morning now. You're gonna burn. Yes, you are. Um, I didn't actually bring food with me when I went that time, which was probably a bad idea, but... Um, okay. That's a quick way to get around and get some neat stuff. Um, let's see, there's a spider there. I want... I want string! I don't want creepers. Creeper, get away from me. Yes, string. Okay. Now, is there any other way for me to get string around here? No, I guess I'd have to find an abandoned mine shaft, which isn't likely. Um. Oh, here's my book. Right. Oh, that's the zombie in the thing. Right. Age 51. Great. We've got Taiga. Okay, so yeah, that's. Okay. He's just blowing up. Or burning. Blowing up. Yeah, totally. Zombies just explode in daylight. Let's make another one. Um. Actually, let's not. Uh, because I do not want to use this book. So I will take that out of the thing. Okay, so we've got single biome, taiga, lake, standard lighting, normal weather, eternal dusk, standard terrain. Um, I don't know if any of those are unstable. So, <laughs> that's worrisome. Um, like, I don't know if any of those would... I know these two are fine, because it's single biome and, and taiga, so that's that's cool. Um, I don't know if lakes... Of uh, affects that. It shouldn't, I don't think. I think that would be counted as like a terrain feature. Okay, the secondary ones are terrain features, special terrain features, terrain modifiers, light levels, fog, sky, and sunset colors. So, um, time is over here, and we've got weather, which is normal weather, which is good. Um, standard terrain, I don't know what that would be, probably a terrain modifier. Um, which I'm thinking would be like Sky World kind of stuff, uh, where it, it affects terrain on a large scale. Um, this, uh, or lakes would probably be, like I said, terrain features, where it's just a small thing. Um, and we have standard lighting. That's a pretty standard world, actually. Aside from the fact that it's eternal dusk, and it's all taiga. Um, so now we could, I think, write books here? I'm not really sure. I don't know how that works. Oh, okay, right, if you haven't used a book, then it... Gotcha. Okay. Uh, book 50, we're, we'll, we'll make a separate chest for that one. For our failed attempts at worlds. And this, this will go over here. Um, solely for the failed worlds. So that we have something, we can just stick them in there and be like, don't go there. Um, this one, I don't know what this is about. I don't know what that's about. Um... I, I didn't see anything about it on the um, on the wiki, so I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen. Um, oh, there's another spider over there. Let's see if we can get some string from this guy, because if we can get two string, we can make a bed, and that'll be so much more helpful than not having a bed. Dang it, dude! You should have given me something. Oh, I don't want to eat this. It's gonna make me more hungry. I should really not sprint around everywhere. But, you know, it's just such an overwhelming urge to run everywhere. I was a bit of an ADHD child. I'm a bit of an ADHD man. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. How much bone meal do we Not that chest. That chest is the bad chest. Don't go in there. Um, how much bone meal do we have? We have a bunch of bone meal. We can make a bunch of bread. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll end the episode here. So we've, we've seen two worlds. Um... One that was kind of not good, and the other one that is, you know, much better. Just particularly better, I would say. Um, so, yeah, that's a good start, I think. Um, I kind of wish I could rename this. I don't think I can. Can I? Let's see if I can take it over here and rename it. it I can! Um, there we go. Okay. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay, so we have a little thingy to Duskwood now. And these don't always go on angles, they just go whichever direction you place them. 
or like which they face towards you. So if you're at an angle, it's kind of like signs where they can turn. Um, so if I were standing here, it would be facing this direction. So you can like angle them around walls and stuff, and it's pretty neat. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And next time we'll try to find some more cool worlds, or maybe even try to write our own. That'd be cool. I really want to do that. Um, I mean, I we still don't really know that many things, so maybe I'll go to a few worlds first and then do that. But anyway, I was trying to end the episode here. So um, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.